The average lifespan of a manga creator is 20 years lower than that of an average human being. I found this on Twitter, so it might be cap, but I'm actually not surprised, and this is coming after Akira Toriyama's recent passing at a pretty early age in his 60s. The average mangaka will die at the age of 62, and the average human being will die at the age of 83. By the way, I'm also a manga creator, so my mom was like, Brandon, watch yourself. I mean, Kentaro Miura also died in like his 50s, so like people are dying pretty early. And here's why I'm not surprised. There's a few things that I think play into whether or not you're going to die or not, right? One, genetics. None of us can help that. Two, sleep. Super important. Three, what you're eating. Four, exercise. Five, maybe like stress. And if you're a mangaka, all of those are pretty much neglected. If you're working seven hours a day, Ichiro Oda, for example, only sleeps three hours a day and he's been serializing for like, what, 20 plus years? Imagine sleeping three hours a day for 20 years. He does take hiatuses now and then, but when he was in his 20s, he was definitely just powering through. And that damage that's done to your brain and your body is for the rest of your life. Two is food. You know, a lot of mangaka are not making an enormous amount of money, especially when they're starting off in their career. You know, to become a full-time mangaka, you're doing a one-shot contest for pretty much free. And then if you win the competition, you're making a tiny bit of money, but not enough to survive. Let's say you actually end up serializing after so many months of trying. You're still not making like a lot of money. You could be working on a project for like one and a half years, get only like, you know, two to three months worth of work, get your series axed and then be back to square one and unemployed again. You know, and that's if they ax you at like what? 15 chapters, 20 chapters. It's pretty brutal. So a lot of people are not eating well, especially in the early part of their career because you just really can't be out here affording whole foods, you know? Three is exercise. So imagine you're Togashi, the creator of Hunter x Hunter. You're hunched over all day, working seven hours, uh, seven hours, seven days a week for like 18 plus hour days. Yeah, some mangaka are just not out here uh, working out and some of it's the personality. Some of it's also like, you just don't have time because you're too busy working on your manga, meeting those deadlines. So I think a lot of mangaka and a lot of human beings in general who are working at computers and not standing up from their desk every like hour or so um, are not doing super well in the health department. I personally try and go to the gym almost every single day because I know how important that is. Even if I still have to work, like I'll be working while I'm walking on the treadmill in a public gym. Like that's, so I have to do that sometimes, just how it is. And then four is stress. This is something that I personally struggle with, but because you have deadlines every single week or sometimes even every single day and you've just like pumped things out, there's an enormous amount of stress. And I personally like have had some like health issues because of just how much stress I'm under. And a lot of how you try and combat that is like stress management, stuff like working out again, seeing your friends, going outside, touching grass, getting sunlight, breathing exercises. That's also something I do. Yeah, so I think a lot of mangaka don't practice all these things, um, which is why they you know end up going early. But I'm trying to be a little bit different and that's because I'm a writer. I'm not just, you know, an artist. So I actually work with artists so that some of the workload is taken off me. That way I can try and get seven hours of sleep. I still work seven days a week. I'm also able to sleep seven hours. I make a good enough living where I can be out here getting the whole foods, you know? So I try to eat healthy. I don't really drink anymore. I go to the gym every day and uh, I try my best to manage my stress, even though it's a very stressful industry, it's super hard for me. And so hopefully I can die at an average age, please, not 62, come on.